Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, the podcast. Hello. Cancel. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the weekly recap of what dates? Uh, July 29th through August 2nd. We had a full week. Did you agree with me after seeing Monday that Monday was Friday? I'm not sure. Really? I'm really not sure because I think that I was expecting more of a cliffhanger. I felt like Michael throwing Shiloh in the elevator was a Friday. Yeah. I can see that. I can see. I can see why you thought it was Friday, but there was no. It, there wasn't a there wasn't a cliffhanger. It the was a <gasps> moment because yeah. I didn't think that was going to happen. But like we talked about last week with Bradford, I don't know what happens. <laughs> That's going to become our favorite we new don't phrase. Know. <laughs> but we don't know what happens when they preempt. Like, do they just edit the heck out of and maybe take out some stuff? They and, must. I mean, they must. But doesn't do that. have to be in? Yeah, that would make sense. I guess. But I don't know that they would edit that quickly. I think going forward, they yeah. just wouldn't film like the extra filler stuff. Yeah. And then they wouldn't have to edit so hard because I mean, I don't this do. week's Friday didn't necessarily feel like a Friday no. either. So mm-hmm. I don't know. But and I I didn't want to correct him and be like, listen, they've been really dropping the ball on the cliffhangers <laughs> lately because and we're not the only one saying, no. it, you know, social media is all what just right. happened. We shouldn't you get know. so excited. The weeks that they do do a cliffhanger, we're like, oh my god, that felt like right. a Friday. Remember when? It shouldn't, yeah, yeah, nope. But yeah, I definitely thought that Monday was Friday because of Michael punching Charlie. That was pretty awesome. I like that they're giving Michael a little bit more depth. Yes, you know, but they're making him into a little playboy. Mm-hmm. But okay, whatever. That's okay. Yeah, he deserves the right. happiness. It's time, yeah. But okay, so what do you think that Cassandra <laughs> put in his? And they're grapefruit. I don't know. First of all, Who Sasha saying that? this is a really bitter grapefruit. Has she never had grapefruit before? Because grapefruit is, is a bitter yes, fruit. Yes. That's why a lot of people put sugar on top of it. Exactly. Because it is bitter by nature. But what do you think she... I don't know. Because she like took that selfie. I feel like that's going to get sent to Nina. But like, what's it going to say? Your kid's sick because of me? Like, My thought was, is Michael going to get kidnapped in Puerto Rico again? I really as an adult, because that. No. that is not where they kidnapped him when he was I younger. Think, I think you're right. Yeah, no. But on Sunny's Island, I mean, right? I don't know how that happened. However, no. How did she get there? Right. You know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. I don't like the way that storyline's coming together. Like they're just suddenly it's talking very about her all the time. Yep. And then all of a sudden, she's in Puerto Rico. Yeah. It's very very abrupt, and. What does she have to do with Jax? Like, what could we possibly think that she has to I do with Jax? I think there's a connection with, to Jerry. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah, I think it's Jerry. And he's just trying to cover it up again? I don't know if he's trying to cover it up or if he's, like, mad. You're Remember when face. Jerry... She's so excited. Remember when he poisoned the water and everything? Yeah, maybe. Do you think that it came from Cassandra? Maybe. Mm. See? Mm. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'll make my own sound effects. <laughs> right? We don't need the... The added in ones. No. Yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, I can't have fun with those. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's so creative because I don't hear it all put together until you guys hear it all put together. And so I will listen to it and I'll be like, oh, she got creative there. <laughs> like, Anchor has cute. them art- automatically. I love like, it. There's little, no. I only go for the second one, though, because I'm like, anything longer than that is oh, right. too long. Yeah. But yeah, if you start adding like, sound effect clapping or something. I'm like, Shannon, there's stop. one that's a cow and then there's a goat. And I'm like, I just want to put them in there. <laughs> we need to like, figure out where that's appropriate. When we start talking about Lucy and we're talking about Wasn't the that? llama, we'll put the goat in. Oh, it was a llama. That's what it was a llama. What yeah. was that? Oh, that would be funny. But we're not going to talk about Lucy this week either because, no. because someone we're all somewhere over the place right now. We are. I'm sorry. Someone somewhere did Lucy a huge injustice and tried to condense her down to like, Four paragraphs of information. And she's been on the show way too long. 70s. And done way too much to only be covered by those four So we're going to do some deep dive research yes. on and this Lucy Co. And we'll and give you a full, everything you needed to know about Lucy. Yes. We promise it will be worth the wait then. But neither one of us felt comfortable just no. 
doing a four paragraph. This is what she did. So. No. So we'll announce what we're doing on Thursday a little bit later. Yes. But yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I'll be interested know. to see what Cassandra put in her. I like in the grapefruit and yeah. what's going to happen. Like there what the everything. whole point of it was. Yeah. So, I mean, do you think she's going to try to get them addicted to drugs or do you think that's like the truth serum that she's Maybe going- it's just going to make her really sick and then she'll send the picture to Nina and be like, your kid was sick. Do you know why? Like, I have the power to screw with you right. even though you don't think about me being around anymore or whatever. Yeah. Talking about drugging people, though, how about Hayden and her truthfulness at Windermere? Okay. So, <laughs> talk about it. Talk about it. I thought she was going to tell him something good, though. Like, she did start to spill the beans, but I wanted her to be more. Like, did you ever think about me? Blah, blah, blah. And then she just kind of dropped it. Like, the rainstorm stopped or whatever reason it was that he couldn't leave. And then the next day. <laughs> yeah, the next day she's like, never mind. You're better off without me. I hope I never see you again. And he's like, same. Yeah. We asked Twitter and Instagram, what did you think about the Finn and Hayden exchanges this week? We got some Good feedback. Oh, yes. Okay. Go. Let me start at the beginning. It's very good. Lois Troutman gave us a lot of insight when they parted on Friday's episode and said they didn't want to see each other again. It broke my heart, but I know that it won't stick. They have hurt between them, but broken things can be fixed, including their hearts. Aww. Hashtag Faden, because that's their shit name. I definitely want a fade-in reunion. I have for two years since Rebecca left. Good For goodness sake, get their child in the story. I have waited two years to see that too. Easton and Buttig have a hot, intense, explosive chemistry, even from the way that they look at each other as Hayden and Finn. Yes. There is so much they need to talk about, work through, including the baby reveal. Much more of them, please. So that's all of her. Yes. No, and I agree with her. They have way better chemistry than him and Anna. I agree. Way better. But then, so then that writer chick says, I ship Faden too, mostly because I love Rebecca, but also because Finn and Hayden have some nice smoldering chemistry. Yeah. Then Lois is back (laughs) and says, it's far from over for Hayden and Finn. That is my story and I'm sticking to it. (laughs) Their feelings will bubble to the surface and they can't deny them. And please bring their child into the story. Dr. Finn, we have waited for two years. And then this lady is, I hope you're right about the not being able to deny their feelings and the baby returning. This is from Faden Forever 31. So they dedicated their whole Twitter existence to Faden. Then Queen Anna comes in. Uh Uh-oh. Always found them incredibly boring. Hayden is much more interesting in scenes with other men, though. Just hate her around Finn and Elizabeth. Faden wasn't some great love story and will never look at her as Liz's sister no matter how hard they try to force both relationships. Then Love, Dream, GH, and then she has a lot of different little mini names after that. Loved it. Never understood why GH let RB when Faden was so popular. These two ooze chemistry. You can tell they both still love each other very much. Much better than boring Thana. (laughs) Then Leslie Barr says, I think they wanted SB back, Steve Burton. Yeah. And I don't think she's on contract now. And someone says, hopefully that will change because that was the big thing is that everyone thought that she got let go because Steve was coming back. And I do believe I read somewhere that, that she said, that's not true, Yeah, but I can't, I couldn't find it. But then Jen M at eight Ohio at 1121, Finn had an opportunity to act on the knowledge that Hayden still loves him. He didn't take it. Instead, he gave her a chance to save face while communicating that he had made his choice. Of course, it took its toll, but this was the second time that he passed on them reuniting. And that's true. Oh, that is true. Yeah, because he didn't go to... Nope. And that was probably an easier one to say no to. Right, because, because it wasn't, it wasn't face-to-face. Face. He really... I guess he really loves Anna, but I, I have to agree with everyone that's saying they just have such good chemistry. And him mm-hmm. and Anna, I don't know. They just feel like an old married couple already where they're right. like that heat There's between. no spark. Yeah. That's what we want to see on our soaps. Because then Jesse says, loved every second they were on screen. Their chemistry is fire emoji. <laughs> and I can't wait for a fade in reunion. Please much more between Rebecca Buttig, General Hospital, Frank Valentini. And this is Maureen. He really needs to know about, oh, oh he really God. needs to know about the baby. Pretty please. Robert will mend Finola Hughes's heart. Aww. Right. That would be nice. And then one more person just said, can't wait for more Faden. And then on Instagram, that was all Twitter. Wow. I'm I mean, so glad you guys are interacting so much. I though. know. Good job. 
We uh, love it. But then Instagram had a lot of negative about Hayden. Oh. Lady Met 57, not a fan of Hayden coming back at all. Kathy McConnell Purinton, I was only able to watch on Friday. I don't think, it says, I don't think you're done, but I think she meant, I don't think they're, they're done. done. Yeah. There was way too much emotion in the goodbye. Jadu Disco, I do not like Hayden. Okay. Janice Awesome, do not like them together at all. Susan Herring Zero, I love them together. Praise hands, clap, clap, thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Dancer Love 53, Anna Hart. Yeah. Mary E 1810, love it. And Letty 0510, like Anna needs to come back already, LOL. And I did answer. I was like, seriously, where does this woman yes, go yes. all the time? She's just like, and it's not like she's visiting Emma or any of that. No. She's just gone. She's finding Alex. But why now? Right. Why are we finding mm-hmm. Alex? No. I was like, did I miss something? Yeah, I don't think we need her back. No. It wasn't that interesting. No. So no, it's that's all, all of your her. input, too. So what is your yeah. thought on the Hayden Finn I think he needs to know about that baby because yes. I think they're right. That's going to make a huge difference. And I think even then Anna is going to be like, yeah, you need to go be with her and like make your little family and stuff because you don't think Anna would stand beside him. And I mean, I think she would, I think she would be a nice little stepmom and all that, but I don't know. You can't deny the sparks. I know like they're saying on screen that you can see it. So. Yeah. I did like, I mean, and I've talked about this before. Like I really wish that they would just give him some kind of a diagnosis Yes. Can we please acknowledge everything that he said? You understand people a lot better than I do. And everything that he's saying, I'm like, that's yes. spectrum. Yeah. Because you can be a brilliant doctor and have an amazing love life. Right. And they're all about the awareness yep. of all different diseases and, and mental health emotional and whatever. Support lizard. Exactly. This would be the perfect opportunity to show I know. that you can... Be a doctor and yeah. still have I just some love issues. Michael Easton, though. Like, I've noticed that. I know. I really, really do. And do you know what? Obsessed. I might be. But do you know what I noticed? My husband started wearing vests when he dresses up. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, um, have you watched your hospital? Because I am digging that. And oh, my God. Now you're wearing a vest. And I'm like, swoon. <laughs> but yes. So, yeah. So I just don't know where... I thought that Nina was going to drink the truth serum, the truth serum and just wind up blabbing about everything that yeah. they're doing and, you know, tell Jack's off. Right. Like that's really what I thought was going to happen. It would have been fun if Liesl would have came in and drank it and started spouting off stuff about <gasps> Wiley. Yes. That would have been even better. Darn it. Cause they all would have been like, we don't know what to do with this information. Yeah. But now a whole room full of people know and what's going to happen. So Nina did at one point change to saying Aunt Liesl, and then she switched right back yes. to Aunt. Did you hear it? I did. I, did. I wrote it down. And I was like, and then she went right back. Nope. She had it for a second. And it <sighs> seriously. So, okay. You say I took all these notes and I really didn't. Oh, I, I took mental notes. I laughed. Actually, the one note that I took. You one, took a mental note that you laughed? I took a mental note. And then the one actual note that I took, I wrote Lila Kid's shirt on Jake laughing emoji because... How many times have we said it these past couple weeks of, it is not summer and no one's wearing their Lila's kid shirts. And then Jake's sitting there in his shirt. Well, and then, so I was under the impression that they had just come back from the game. Yeah. And so I wrote, I was like, kids don't wear their camp shirts to baseball games. They wear their team fan jerseys. Yes. But I guess it was the next morning and he was on his way and he was going to show the ball to his camper. So that kind of made sense in that context. How about that whole conversation with him trying to get Jason to at least be kind about Franco? Yeah. But then Liz is saying our son. Or no, no, no. She says my, my son. She and said, I said son. our son, stepfather, Liz, not just yours. Yes. Sorry. But yes. then on Twitter, there was a whole discussion about, okay, Jason's saying that he's not lying to him. Does he know what Jason does for a living? True. That's very true. You know, Jason doesn't tell him about that. Right. You know, and... But that's probably not out there on the internet as easy to find, like, the truth of what he does. Yeah. So he probably feels protected. Not that I'm disagreeing with everyone, because, yeah, you gotta pick, you're on one side or the Mm -hmm. other. You can't 
But if Jake's not going to know exactly why Jason doesn't like him. Right. You know, and you can just say, listen, it's a really adult thing, but, you know, I support the fact that you like him. Right. I'm or glad something. that he's happy. Okay. So everyone knows by now that there's been some issues with my ex and now he's remarried and whatever. Even with that, like, we're never going to be best friends where we're like going shopping together or whatever. Right. But when the kids bring her up, I'm like, I'm glad that she was nice to you and you guys got to do that. Right. Because um, you her, don't want your right. kids to be. Like, and I genuinely am. Like, her birthday was uh, Thursday and they were all going out to dinner. And my kids, like, wanted to get dressed up, but they were trying not to, like, make me sad. And I was like, do you want me to do your makeup? Here, come here. Let me help you. Like, yes, go get ready right. and be happy and enjoy this. And that's what Jason's standpoint should have been, too. I'm glad that Franco enjoys baseball with you. I'm glad that Franco is into your arts with you. I'm glad that Franco... But exactly. He mm. should have said when Jake tried to correct himself, the fact that he enjoys doing art. Because did you right. see that, like, he kind of took it back? Yeah. Jason should have been like, you're allowed to like activities that you do with Franco. Right. Exactly. You know? I'm glad Please to don't. hear you're exploring things that right. I'm not good at. Like Jason's never been an artist. I don't know. So. He's a carpenter now. So yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. I'm pretty sure that he is not like painting murals though in the tree. House. You never know. So Maybe that's part of the recovered memories that we're going to be getting. <laughs> Uh, Michael will bring it up next week. And whenever we build that tree house, can you put a little flower pattern on the right. side? No, he's not an artist like Franco or Liz. Like we've said before, she could probably remember that her kid on some painting. Also, we just celebrated 22 years of Elizabeth Weber, Weber though. The other day, I don't want to hear that because that makes me feel I know. really, really, I know. But somebody really on, old. There's a lot of really good Twitter handles. I just want to give them a quick shout out because I like um, that every day. Someone lets you know like what happened, and I'm like, the general wow, I feel are... really uh, old to know that that yep. happened that long ago because I still feel like it's 1990 something, and all these people are 16, 17. Yep, it's General Hospitals, Thank and you. their handle is at Port underscore Charles One, and they're the ones who say every day, "I love something happened," and, and it is, it really is so cool that they do that. So. Yeah. Thank you. So then also GH Golden Era 8095, their handle is at GH Golden Years, is doing a classic Aww. GH 30 day challenge. So far they have done, day one was favorite super couple. Day two was favorite non-super couple. Day three was couple should have been super couple. Oh. I like their yeah. themes here. Day five, favorite dance scene. Okay, so wait. Wow. T- so today is the couple that should have never been. You want to verbally talk about this real quick? Oh, should have never. I didn't like Brenda with Jax. Really? Yeah. I could never figure out which one she should have been with. I never liked. I didn't like when Spinelli and Maxi actually got together. Mm. That was weird. I know we wouldn't have Georgie, but no. they weren't a couple to me. They are two brother sisterish to me no because he was so in love with her he was in love with her yeah she wasn't like in love with him enough right but it was still nice to see him happy because he was so in love with her but she was not with him yeah I, you you're know right. you're right it was the and that's my problem with brenda and Jax. i know she says that she loved him but it never felt he was to totally me. infatuated with her and yeah she loved yeah and she was always still like wait what's sunny doing over there and you're like no if you're with Jax, be with Jax. yeah so I feel like Jax was the consolation to Sonny for everyone. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Except for like Chloe. He should have been with Chloe. That was good. Yes. Carly and Brenda. No. No. Neither one of them belonged with him. And then the day that this airs, it's favorite dance scene. That's a hard one. I'd have to like. Start. I know how much you love the tango. <laughs> No, there's well, one that should have never. Can we do dance scenes that should have never happened? Because the tango would be my winner. All right. So we're not going to steal their thunder, but seriously, go to GH Golden H. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Yeah. So good job. Do you have an idea for a podcast, but don't know where to start? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is such an easy way to record and edit a podcast, and you can do it from either your phone or computer. Best part is you don't have to worry about getting it out there. Anchor distributes to many platforms, so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and many more. You can start making money right away without having a minimum number of listeners, too. Anchor really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one place. One thing I also did ask 
or that we asked our listeners this week is when do they watch General Hospital? Because we talk a lot about how sometimes we, we don't play catch up on the weekends. Yep. And one of the things that we were very mindful of when we started the podcast is not doing recap until Monday because yes, give people the weekend. Well, we're not in the minority. 45% of people watch same day DVR or streaming. Okay. 45% when I can by Sunday and only 9% live when it airs. Oh, wow. 0% well, answered so far behind. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> yes. Even your most people have a job, no matter what shift you're working, like not right. just assuming that everyone works nine to five, but even if you're doing shift work, the two o'clock, at least that's when it airs here. Yeah. You're at work or you're right. on your way to work or right. you're whatever. So could you imagine know. if we had had streaming when we were in high school, though? Because remember how we always talk about how we didn't watch these episodes? We probably have some young listeners going, how did you not watch it? <laughs> right. Why did you? Because our parents wouldn't even VHS it for us. They wouldn't set the VCR. You had to keep the TV turned on and set the timer on the VCR. And tapes, make sure. Tapes were very expensive. And I, make sure that you had room on your tape. I was told the tapes were very expensive and we are not going to waste them on General Hospital. So it was only like special, special occasions uh -huh. that I could tape. Cause I told you I was in love with uh, Jagger and Karen. Yep. So there was lots of days from them that I was allowed to tape, but anything more than that? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. That is funny. Like yeah. oh, there's so much stuff with today that you're like, kids, you don't understand the struggle. No, not at all. So we haven't talked about Wiley's birthday party yet. We talked a little bit about when, Michael yeah, threw throughout Shiloh Shiloh. in the... It was nice that they included Willow and that she went. I and know. Julian, that was a huge deal. And that deal. she let... Yeah. You know, she initiated that. Yeah. That was amazing. I thought that was really, really... It was very nice. ...sweet, you know, and... I just... I feel bad watching it since I know that that's not her baby. <laughs> Every time I know. she does something, I'm like... Oh, you're going to be so sad when the truth comes out. I feel so bad for you. Well, because I wrote... I was like, I'm loving all the co-parenting that could happen for Wiley, but... It's really sad how this is going to end. Yeah. You know, because it's not... I might actually cry when it all comes out. It's going to be devastating. Yeah. Because I... How is it going to happen now, though? Because we've had so many missed opportunities and all these things oh, are happening. Oh, that's what I can't wait to see is what Nell does. Because she didn't tell him because nope. of the Sasha picture popping up. Yep. And... I really think she was going to. And then she was pissed off when she yep. got back with... Harmony. Thank you. <laughs> You're never going to remember her I, name, I are just you? like her Melody. <laughs> Can everyone just agree with me? Her name should be Melody and we'll all be on the same page. Um, yeah, when she got back in the cell with her, she was like, oh no, it is over, blah, blah, blah. He's a jerk. So yeah. I wonder how she's going to sabotage what? I'm telling you, I think that she'll wind up telling Harmony. You think? I do. I don't know that Harmony is a good enough liar to keep it a secret, though. I don't know. I don't trust her. I think that she's anti Shiloh. But I don't think that she's that, that bad of a person that she would let Michael not. No, know I agree. Son. Yeah. So I wouldn't trust. If I was now, I wouldn't trust. Oh, him. the other psychic telling Ava that she knew something about a baby. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 That was a Monday. That was. Yes. That is how, that was the only thing that made me think that See, it felt that like a Friday. Friday. I told yeah. you, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying. I, just, I wish someone from GH would actually tell us though. Well, I you know they're listening because they have Lila Kid shirts this week. <laughs> Can you please respond to somewhere and tell me that it was Monday was Friday? Because I really feel like Our email address is peer54podcast <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> just shoot us a, hey, we're listening. Yeah. Any ideas? We got a bunch. <laughs> if we have a whole bunch, that could be like 10 podcasts in a row. Let me yes. tell you what you should actually do. We're just really good with continuity and we know what the fans. Right. Almost everything for. that we say is something that someone else is saying too. Like, yeah. we're all on the same page here. Exactly. Sam missed Wiley's birthday party and she's his godmother. Yeah, I noticed that too. For what? To go talk to. To, well, she wasn't even talking, she to, wasn't Willow even talking to Willow. Willow was right. gone. She was breaking into Shiloh's room then? Oh, yeah. That, that was, was dumb. Like, what's going to happen? That was so dumb. What's going to happen with that? Yeah. Because he was calling Jason to Do want Sam back. Well, and then he said something about planting the memories in Drew's twin. Right. You know, I mean, that's confusing. Well, so, so he kidnapped Sam. So that Jason comes to rescue her and then he's going to take Jason to the new doctor and have Drew's memories, Drew's put, memories in Jason. put in Jason. But I don't know for what purpose. There, His memories must be where all that money is hidden. 
Yeah. And so that's why he wants the information. But why... But putting it in Jason would still get it out there. I don't know. And, I mean, it's a flash drive. It's not like it's a once and done. It's, right. Everybody can have you it. Can make, you can put it in We can everyone. all have Drew's. <laughs> Let's all have Drew's memories. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. I did like Drew talking to Franco and him, like, reassuring him. Yeah. And I actually wrote down his quote, and this is my quote of the week. Oh? <laughs> So Drew said, don't rob yourself of joy because you're worried about the things that you can't see coming. Oh, yeah. Because he was talking about the car and, you know, the don't go on that ride or whatever. Yeah. You know, and they can't possibly be killing off. No. Franco or Cam, right? No. Like, that's not. They're not allowed. (laughs) Okay. I'm just checking. Yeah. Like, we are the sayers of what happens. Exactly. So, yeah. No. No, no, they can't kill another kid after they just killed Oscar off. Because then we have no teenagers left. And that's who the younger generation is going to end up watching. Yes. And, no, Franco and Liz are finally, like, happy and he's a decent person. She's been through enough. We cannot kill her husband or hurt him or whatever. No. No. I refuse to accept that that's the answer. Although this whole car thing, so many things wrong with the way that they transferred that title. Yeah, that was weird. Like, they were at the notary. I'm using air quotes. They were at the notary. First of all, Cam's not an adult, so he can't be the one. And, like, they need to see the physical signatures. He can't be given property by them without it being in an adult's name. And insurance doesn't work that way. Right, right. I already have paid the insurance for the whole year. No. <laughs> you cannot have insurance on something that you have no insurable interest in. Yeah. Unless somehow they're keeping the car in their name and putting Cam on as a co-signer. No. No? No. That, it's Cam's car. Right. So but, it needs to be in Elizabeth and Franco's name, too, or Franco's name, too. Or, no, he didn't legally adopt. Oh, so, right. Yeah, Elizabeth should have Elizabeth. been there. Yep. You're right. You're right. <sighs> Come on, guys. Me. You're dropping the ball on these little things, and it's not good. Yeah, that was. And it would have had so much more weight. If a stranger had said, you know what, we need the death certificate. Right. And said, she's like, here, you'll need this. Right. And seeing Cam's reaction. Yeah. No, it would have had more of a, you know, the nasty lady at the DMV stamping the stuff going, and where's the death certificate? Yeah. And then having to. Yeah. Why is Kim not locked up right now? I don't know. Right. The fact locked that she away. can stand there and say to Elizabeth, well, I made a poor choice at your wedding. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. Thank you. That wasn't a poor choice, honey. That was. Like a felony in jail and not be a doctor right now. Correct. Yeah. So, and I wouldn't be talking about it to anyone. No, I I know that her and Elizabeth are friends, but I wouldn't be, I know she didn't go into like all the details, but I wouldn't even Mm -hmm. pretend that I remember doing that. Absolutely not. But like, seriously, why is she not in Ferncliff or Shady Brook? Maybe like she said, she needs to get away. Maybe that's what's going to happen. She's going to leave. I don't think there's anything else this week. So the only other thing that I had was... That she has notes on. Do you remember earlier when she said, I didn't really take good notes? I didn't. four pages here? I'm just a nerd. (laughs) So when Sam was talking with someone about... Oh, she was talking with Willow about did Shiloh ever mention a guy named Charles Owens went by Tex? Yeah. So this is a throwback to the Charles Manson family. Because Charles Manson's right-hand man was Charles Watson, a.k.a. Tex Watson. Okay. See what you did there. Shannon will find it because she watches too much 2020. Listen, the Manson (laughs) murders have a tie to the Beatles. So, therefore, that was one of the Uh, first things that I really knew because... Got it. Yes. Oh, there's always, people are always like, oh, what's your true crime, like, starter story? Like, what's the thing that got, and I think that that was it. I think that it was the Helter Skelter thing with the Manson family. I mean, I remember watching Matlock and Unsolved Mysteries a lot when I was younger, but I think that my first, I need to get to the bottom of this, was why Charles Manson decided to kill, to send his minions to kill a bunch of people because of the Beatles. He didn't. He's just crazy. Right. There's also a tie to Beach Boys, though. Oh, the Beach Boys former producer is the one who lived at the <gasps> You act like house. this is all like general <laughs> knowledge. I'm not the only person in the world who doesn't know this. But it is. No. It I is. Mean, it's, I, it's not. It is. I mean, it might be findable, like Google it up, but the whole world doesn't know all of this. Not the whole world. But, no. but still, Tex Watson, Charles Tex 
Owens, you see what you're doing? There? I like that they're mirroring your real life for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. but now who's going to be Charles Manson? Maybe that's what. <laughs> Maybe Faisal right? is back. <laughs> oh no, I can't. I hate that man. I cannot deal with him being back. Maybe that's all of Shiloh's secrets. Is he's also murdered a million people besides Willow's dad? Oh, probably. So yeah, there you go. Just answer your question. She I know like that answer. She's like, no. Oh, Sam finally offered to remove the tattoo. Yes, that was nice. And Willow made her appointment. So. Yay! Yes, get that taken off. Yes. So on Thursday's episode, we are going to talk about Dante and Lulu. Oh my gosh, we didn't talk about Dante and Lulu. We didn't talk about Lulu. <laughs> Gee, I wonder probably how because, them. but probably because we're going to talk about her. But I think that Laura might have gotten through to her. I hope so. Because when she said, "I had to let go of your dad," yeah, that was good. That, that was, was like really good. That was a good mom conversation, but I hope she got through to her because I'm just tired of listening to her whine and complain. Yeah. So anyway, that was what she was getting at was Thursday. We're going to talk about Dante saying goodbye. He's done. It's over. Sign the divorce papers. Well, no, we're going to talk about their whole relationship. <laughs> but the best part we're going to talk about Dante and Lulu. With her. <sighs> it's just, still sad. No, it's not sad. Some marriages are not meant to be together. And the longer that you hold on to them, the more damage is done to everyone. Yeah. So this is one I'm ready to say goodbye to because she is whiny and cryy and not supportive of him. And so then it needs to be done and over with. So right now there's a question on our Twitter and our (laughs) Instagram. But I just told you what the answer is. (laughs) Both are. You're allowed to have your own opinion here. And we will listen to it and possibly read it. So find Pure 54 Podcast at either Twitter or Instagram. You'll find it. It says Pure 54 Podcast, a GH fan podcast as the title. And let us know your thoughts on Dante and Lulu. Like, are they actually done? Do you think that they're actually going to get divorced? Because this is the second time they're getting divorced. Spoiler alert, if you didn't know that. Yeah. You'll learn more on Thursday about Dante and Lulu's right? past. So it's time for Do-do-do. reality check. Oh, this week has been blah. There's no like, why blah. I don't. Just nothing exciting, and not, I guess, nothing awesome happened Tuesday. Okay, <laughs> everyone knows about my Tuesday already. Yeah, I guess that's the problem. Tuesday should have been Friday because after Tuesday, nothing else in my week could top talking to Bradford. Mm, yeah, like I can't even imagine what would have happened for me to be like. Yeah, Tuesday was great, but this happened. Well, you took our president of the fan club somewhere today. Oh, yes. Megan's at camp. She's at Girl Scout camp for the week. She's doing zombie apocalypse. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. They're going to learn how to make fire and build shelters and filter water and all the stuff you will need to survive your zombie apocalypse. It's not just like basic camping (laughs) stuff. Yes, but I'm I don't sorry. think she knows a lot of it. Whatever. They can call it whatever they want. How, she was how does she, of all people, not know this when she's been Girl Scouts since she was, like, in your belly? Forever. Um, she should know how to do fire, not build shelters, because they don't let them sleep outside at camp okay. until they're older. Because they, like, at least one of the camps that Em went to when she was a little bit younger than she is now, so around Megan's age, they built a shelter and then they had to sleep in it that night. So, I cannot wait to hear about mm-hmm. this. It'll be fun. Can Megan come she, next week she and sure can and tell all of tell our us listeners all about, about how to zombie go apocalypse. a shelter and not to get killed by the zombies? Listen, if General Hospital ones have taken a oh, great idea in doing the spinoff, how go. they do it for Charles, I mean, they've already done the vampire Vampires, spinoff. Now we need some zombies. Now zombies are hot. And Megan so can help you. There, there you go. go. Maybe it'll be called Beecher's Corners. Oh my gosh. He's so funny. There we go. We should really get a cut. Copyright of writers and yeah. Shannon and Amanda. <laughs> oh, I said my name first. Oh, that wasn't alphabetical. Nope. But, Uh-oh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Tuesday was the best day ever. And the rest of the week was just kind of coming off that high. I did lunch with a couple of friends and Megan's at camp. And there you go. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, it wasn't a bad week. It just wasn't Tuesday was the height of it. And then it was a high standard for the rest of the week. How about you? What was better than your Tuesday? All right. So I got my first buyer at their house yeah, yesterday. See? So that was awesome. <laughs> but it's someone that I've been working with since June. And it's someone that I just, I mean, I want all of my buyers to find a home. Her, I'm familiar with her situation. And it's yeah. something that's very similar to something in my past. Yeah. And so it just... That's I that see is. myself in her. There you go. That is you know, exciting. It's not, I'm like, it's not that I don't look, I definitely feel more... It's a more, feel good story. It is just, I'm not going to share it no, because that's, that's too private, personal, but, but 
It's a feel good. Story. I'm just, I'm and very I'm happy. happy for them. And, you know, and I'm gearing up for my kids are going with their dad for a week. Wow. They're leaving Tuesday and they won't be back until the following Tuesday. So we're not even doing like a real week. We're doing a weird week. That is weird. So you better be living it up all a week. I'm going to be working like no other. <laughs> and I do have dinner plans with a friend on Tuesday. So. Oh, we'll see. There you that's, go. that's good. Yes. But yeah. So, and yeah, I think that's really all that. <laughs> yeah. That's I'm enough. like, yeah. 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 So I guess have a good week. And we'll meet you at the pier. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to go to pier54podcast.com to subscribe on your favorite platform. Don't forget to leave us a review. And you can also follow us on many social media channels. Just search for Peer 54 Podcast. Also, we are not perfect, so if there's something that we missed or messed up, just let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com.